medical options. Yes, we're about your body, your choice, but also we're about making sure that Australia stays safe for our children. Um, I was involved many years ago with this campaign. I just ho hope you can see this on the camera. Uh, and you can see um, I was helping the Australian Conservation Foundation in those days. But if you can see on that map, there were 18 toxic waste dumps that a company called Tangia was going to open right, and bring the toxic waste from the rest of the world back to Australia for processing. Now, the interesting thing is that this has been put forward again recently, but due to all of the publicity that the COVID is receiving, this is getting hidden. Our nuclear agenda for Australia seems to be going ahead very sneakily. And in the past, we do have a record of trying to get through, our, our government does have a record of trying to get through sneaky policies, you know, look over there in a misdirection, you know, like the movie Swordfish. We'll get you to look over here while we just sneak this through over there. This is important because you'll find that places like ESC are at the moment being lobbied because you need jobs because so many people have lost their jobs due to the pandemic. Um, and why are we in the pandemic? We, you know, because people say lives are going to be lost. But what we have to look at is in history, when there was a pandemic, when there was a plague, there was a body count that everybody around you could see. Right? In the uh, original Black Plague, we had what were called plague doctors and they were told to wear masks. The public had to wear masks, but mostly the plague doctors. They wore masks like this. As you can see, they're far more effective than the little paper masks that were given today. They cover the eyes so no infection can get in through the eyes. And they used to put herbs in the snout, right? Herbs that would purify the air. Right? That's what they used them for. And they'd walk around with a big broad brim hat on and a big cloak to cover themselves up so that nothing could get on them. And they'd walk around, bring out your dead. they take carts around in the street. The statistics are back in at the moment you know, that there does not appear to be any deaths from COVID where there was not a pre-existing serious condition. It is very unfortunate that the COVID deaths have been highlighted the testing kits that on their page 86 of their instruction manual, it says that these COVID kits may not actually prove that there is any pathogen present. That people have been pushed into panic about the results of this testing kit when we see no visible results around us of an actual plague, right? Except for masks, people wearing silly masks masks that are not as effective as what they used in the 1400s. The other thing is our economy is being wrecked. And why are they wrecking our economy? Right? When there are secret agendas around right? to bring toxic nuclear waste dumps back to Australia. Our economy is being wrecked. We are under threat of having forced vaccinations. These are things that I have heard from you that you do not want. I'm here for you. I'm going to speak for you in state government. I will stand up for you. I will look out for you. But if I'm going to support you, you need to support me. Please vote one, Shade de Monford, for IMOP, for Coomera. I'm here for you. Written and authorised by Shader Monfort, one Shawnee Crescent, Willowvale for the Informed Medical Options Party.